He's building a new home. nuclear power plant. Uh, I'm not sure what year this is, but this is the Dodge Challenger. This is actually uh, David Neal's personal ride, one of his personal cars. I'm driving this because, you know, it was kind of there, and it's the kind of car that you can drive without having to turn the lights on at nighttime. I know. Yeah. Neon. Yeah. But today we're going to go somewhere that Kathy went to actually the other day. Uh, it's a an area south of Malibu called Playa del Rey, technically just Del Rey. Yeah, this little microcosm of the area is just called Del Rey, and it's kind of historic. Yeah, and it's right in the marina, so there's uh, it's right along the water. We got the dogs in the back. Yeah. And we're going to drive the Challenger down there, kind of go check things out, see if we can spot some cars along the way. But it's a cool place. Another thing, if you have been watching the vlog, you probably know this already, but we were we were uh, told that we're going to be grandparents, along with In and Bob. All three of us are going to be grandparents. But you just had lunch with Isla, and what did she tell you? Well, she Isla has this app on her phone that tells you the size of your baby. I don't know what, but you have to type in when your baby started growing. When we saw them at Kay and Dave's for lunch, when they first told us. The baby was the size of a strawberry. <laughs> so then, I had lunch with them yesterday, and the baby is the size of a lime. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Which is but perfect, because that's the color of the car we're driving. Yeah, it gives you a, a visual. So in another couple of weeks, it may be the size of an apple. I know, wait till it's the size of yeah. a water. But we're going to find out also if it's a boy or a girl early, right? Oh yeah, I think she said they will have a test in the next couple of weeks. through Playa del Rey, or Del Rey, I'm not sure technically the name at this point. Right along the water, the jetty's over here following Kathy. 
because she knows where she's going. I have no idea. It's actually the dogs that know where they're going. about a mile walk or so all the way out to the jetty which is way out there we didn't go on the rocky area because there's lots of holes and the dogs might fall in or maybe I'll fall in you will <laughs> yeah we've gone about a mile so far it's pretty short but it's it's really beautiful and it's super peaceful because you got water on this side and then you got water on that side and nothing in between but us chickens and a couple of pooches And the last part of our journey across the Sahara Desert. <laughs> it's pretty far, a couple hundred yards of sand. Normally I would assume this is uh, a very heavily traveled beach during the summertime. It's the end of summer now, there's not really anybody anywhere. But it's really peaceful, it's really nice. And if you've never been down here, you should come. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm thirsty.
sometimes you just have to take a road trip. Sometimes you gotta get into a car, it doesn't really matter what kind of car, uh, get on your bike, get on in the on the bus, I don't care what it is, and, and then just get out there, kind of explore. You know, we live in Los Angeles, in the Los Angeles area. I think my battery's about to go dead. You gotta get out there, you gotta explore, because LA is, is so vast, it's so epically huge that there are areas, I've been here my whole life pretty much, and there are areas that I, I have no idea that even existed. But you wanna explore, you wanna get out there, and part of that is maintaining a level of presence. You go out and you do these things and explore a little bit, you're not, you're not in your head, you're not thinking about the future, worrying about things, whether things are gonna work out, you're not connecting yourself to some past you know, pain or kind of nonsense that we do in our minds. And you just have fun. You get some coffee, you explore, you walk around, you go someplace you haven't been. I have been to Delray before, but I haven't been where Kathy went recently. And then she basically took me. And there's nothing more fun for me than to go to a place that, that I've never been. And I'm certainly grateful for that. You know what? It's exploring. That's something I, I used to do as a kid and it's something I continue to do now. And it's something you should do. Okay, switching gears, uh, something really cool that came out and all the Surfside News came out. This is an article uh, in the Life and Arts section. This is Kathy's sculpture. Check that. The Mermaid, Mermaid in Malibu. It's a pretty good title. Where's the rest of it? Oh, here's the article on Kathy. Here's a couple of shots uh, from her mermaid. The process of the mermaid. It's really cool. Mermaid statue serves as creative escape for Lawrence. Hmm. As well as Playa del Rey. Kind of neat. Kind of shows the whole history. So if you go to the Malibu Surfside News to their website, you'll see this. You can read up all about it what Kathy has gone through. But hey, if you've been watching the vlog, you know anyway, right? Two more super exciting news. Uh, I got my book coming. It's gonna be here any day. I'm gonna let you guys know. Keep watching here on the vlog. We're gonna be launching that coloring book. Fireball Tim Beach Life coloring book. All kinds of cool beach life things to be coloring in. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, huge day. Tomorrow, I'm jumping in the Challenger. Kathy's not going with me on this one, but I'm gonna go myself. And we are going up to Buellton, California, which is about an hour and a half north. And we're going to the Vintage Trailer Show. It's gonna be epic. 195, I think, I actually think it's gonna be more. Almost 200 vintage trailers from the 50s, 60s, 70s. You guys are not only gonna see the trailers themselves, the interiors and all the accessories and all the stuff that they do, but I'm gonna be meeting up with my good buddy, Tony Dow and his wife, Lauren. There are special celebrity guests, judges, and we're gonna pick a bunch of categories and we're gonna find out who is the best. So stay tuned, don't miss out, don't miss out because you know, subscribing is the best way to do it. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not into vintage trailers, if you're not into trailers at all, you will be by the time I'm done with you. Thanks for watching people, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh.